What's going on, Review and Preview fans? The head coach 2024 cycle has officially ended. Dan Quinn has been hired as the next head coach of the Washington Commanders. And I really do think, unfortunately, Washington, this is Ron Rivera 2.0 to a lesser degree. Uh, you know, Dan Quinn brought the Atlanta Falcons team to a Super Bowl um, back in 2016, but all in all, Dan Quinn is not a good head coach at the NFL level. You know, he's been the Cowboys defensive coordinator for the past couple of years, but realistically speaking, it faltered when it mattered most in that playoff game against the Green Bay Packers. They surrendered nearly 50 points, and it was embarrassing. Um, fans, players were saying they don't want Dan Quinn back as defensive coordinator next season. Um, Cowboys brought back Mike McCarthy as head coach, so that kind of alluded to people that Quinn would not be leaving, but then he was getting head coaching interviews. A lot of people, including myself, thought he would land with the Seattle Seahawks if he were to get another head coaching job, being that is where Dan Quinn originated from as far as assistant coaching in the NFL. But the good stuff that Dan Quinn brings is he's a very good guy. Um, he's a defensive-minded head coach. Again, he's a little bit older. He's, I believe he's early 50s. But Dan Quinn is not a horrible head coach. I, I just think he has a lot of shortcomings. You know, Washington has questions. Is Sam Howell the franchise quarterback? Do they give him another year? You know, Washington is picking top three in the draft. Do they select, you know, one of those top three quarterbacks? So it'll be interesting to see what happens. They have a lot of holes on their football team. They have great skilled players on offense like Terry McLaurin, um, Jahan Dotson, uh, Brian Robinson, just to name a few but they have to fix their offensive line. Pieces of their defense are very, very poor. They traded away Chase Young at the deadline to the San Francisco 49ers, and their linebacking core is weak. You know, they ran out Jamin Davis and David Mayo a lot this season, so they have to improve there. Um, I do think their secondary is probably the one strength of their team, specifically at safety. I like what Cameron Curl brought to the table this season, but Washington has a lot of holes, and I don't think Dan Quinn is the right guy to fix them. Um, I would have preferred to see Washington hire a guy like Ben Johnson. Obviously, I'm aware that he backed out. Um, you know, a lot of people said they were turned off by the money at this time, and he returned to Detroit, wanting to run it back with them as their OC. Uh, I would have preferred to see Washington hire a guy like Mike Brable as far as who was left in this cycle, knowing that Slowick and Johnson pulled out. I think Mike Brable was the best available candidate, yet they did not interview him. They elect to go with Dan. Quinn, um, biggest thing for me, too, as a head coach, clock management issues are huge. Um, you know, when he was head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, mid-2010s, late-2010s, they had a lot of time management problems, and I think it stems to the guy up top and Dan Quinn. You know, a lot of people blamed it on Matt Ryan, but, you know, they saw what happened once Dan Quinn left in 2020, and I believe Raheem Morris took over as head coach, you know, the team improved a little bit in certain categories that Quinn lacked. So um, I'm interested to see what Dan Quinn can do if they can turn this uh, franchise around under newly um, hired GM Adam Peters. I am a little surprised that Peters elected to go this route. I really thought he would have gone elsewhere, but maybe that's why it took Peters this long to become a GM. I don't know. Again, Washington only won four games last year, so time will tell. Folks, if you like what you watch, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Review and Preview Sports. Also, we're on Instagram, Twitter. We have a link tree for all of our social media handles. Like our Facebook page as well, at Review and Preview. Appreciate all of your support. Um, hope you enjoy the week leading up to the Super Bowl. Very excited to provide some more content and make our predictions on that game. And now that we have all the head coaching hires settled, we can turn our attention towards free agency and the NFL draft. Love it. Best time of year to be a content creator. Folks, appreciate you all tuning in, and I will catch you all on the next video.